My name is Greg Heffernan, a.k.a. Cosmo D. We are in Brooklyn. We're in East Williamsburg at the Devotion Gallery on Mauser Street. I just made some new Max for Live patches, and those patches I wanted to share with the audience tonight. All I want to do is basically hit a pad, and wherever I hit this pad, it will start at that point in the audio file, and then play through. I can basically try to emulate a little bit of, like, with Daedalus does when he's doing his sort of beat shuffling and, you know, live sort of drum fills with his mono. Thus, the buffer shuffler became my way in. I'll play you a clip that I've prepared here. So this is a nice little bubbling cello vibe with some pizzicato happening. Basically, I'm using a device that comes with Max for Live called the Buffer Shuffler. And it takes audio and it basically allows you to move around the placement of where that audio is played in a loop. So I have eight discrete steps that I'm using to cut up the audio, and I can take each step and move it around in a timeline. So for example, I could take beat one and have beat one play the final beat of this eight beat phrase. Or I could have beat one play the whole way through. Or I could just mix it up, draw some craziness with my mouse. And then resets, you can see, randomize. Each of these segments is controlled by my slider. And as you can see, the live slider is MIDI mappable. I can map this buffer shuffler to a MIDI controller. The reset button is also mappable, so if you want to just go back to square one, you can do that. As the technology continues to evolve, I think more artists want to assimilate these new tools into their sound. It keeps the sound fresh, it keeps the sound potent and, and interesting, and it adds new textures and new possibilities. I mean, I think it's, a, it's an inevitability, and I embrace it. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.